Hello everyone and welcome to our Indranaga showroom. In this video, we are going to show you the products displayed and also discuss about our cabinets and accessories. In our Indranaga showroom, we have 4 kitchens and 2 wardrobes displayed. The first kitchen you see as you walk in is an island kitchen with a blue and white lacquered glass. The tower unit on the right has a chrome finished pantry accessory which helps with ease of access into the cabinet. The next is a wall cabinet which folds as it opens. This uses an HF mechanism and this shutter helps with ease of access into the cabinet. The hinge door cabinet is one of the fast moving cabinets due to it being very cost effective. This unit shows an adjustable shelf on the left and a dish drain rack on the right. The tower unit on the left has a hinge door on the top, integrated oven and microwave and another hinge door at the bottom. This kitchen comes with a 1200mm sink unit. This sink unit cabinet has an aluminium sheet at the bottom and a dustbin attached to the door. On this side of the island, we have a bottle pull-out unit which is used to store oil or spice. This is very convenient while cooking. Next to that, we have a base cabinet with two drawers and a pull-out at the bottom, with a plate organizer down at the bottom as well. Next to the hob unit, we have two big pull-outs which are used to store pots and pans. On this side of the island, we have an open shelf at the top and below that we have two more pull-outs for storage. The next kitchen you see as you walk in is an exclusive kitchen with natural wood veneer and stone finishes. On the linear side of the kitchen, we have an open shelf which is on the right and this is used for storage. Next to that we have four tower units which are covered with sliding doors. On the inside of the island you can see the natural stone finish with pullouts. These pullouts come with different accessories and these pullouts in particular come with the glass gallery profile as you can see. Mm -hmm. 
On the far end of the island, we also have a wicker basket for storage of fresh vegetables. The third kitchen you see as you walk in is the U-shaped kitchen with grey matte polylac and laminate finish. As you walk into the U-shaped kitchen, the first cabinet you see on the right is a tower unit with integrated refrigerator. And right next to that, we also have an open shelf cabinet with spotlights that are attached. The U-shaped kitchen features a 45 degree corner unit with alternating shelves, which is also a great way to utilize the corner space. On the second corner of the U-shaped kitchen, we have a chrome finished Lehman's corner unit, which helps with accessing the corner spaces easily. Similar to the island kitchen, there are two drawers and one pull-out here. These are Arcitec series drawers which have a smooth open and close system. These drawers have a full extension feature where the entire depth of the drawer can be accessed. The last kitchen on display is the L-shaped kitchen with a mix of laminate finishes as well as aluminium frames. The first tall unit on the right has a mix of shelves at the top and five pullouts at the bottom. Depending on the type of storage required, this can be adjusted. The next tower unit has a hinge door at the top. It also has a microwave and an oven in the middle. And down at the bottom, it has a drawer. The last tower unit in the L-shaped kitchen features a rolling shutter with adjustable shelves on the inside. And just below that, you have access to the corner space. The accessory used for the corner unit is called the Magic Corner, which has extendable trays and can be a great way to utilize the corner space. The sink unit in the L-shaped kitchen can be accessed through pullouts. The pullouts come with detergent racks and an integrated dustbin for wet and dry wastes. The hob unit for the L-shaped kitchen comes with two pullouts. The top pullout comes with an integrated drawer which is a great option for storage of utensils and the bottom comes with a plate rack. The next cabinet features a mixer pullout accessory which can be integrated into the cabinet. This has a weight capacity of 25 kgs. The L-shaped kitchen also comes with an integrated chimney which can be extended out while cooking. The first wardrobe on display is the waffle sliding wardrobe and this comes with a synchronized laminate and mirror finish. 
This waffle sliding wardrobe comes with a fabric finish on the inside, LED strip lights on the side. It also has a hanger rod on the top which helps to access clothes which are hung at a height. This section of the wardrobe also has a velvet organizer for jewelry or watches and at the bottom it has three internal drawers. The left section of the sliding wardrobe has a regular hanger rod at the top as well as a space for storage. At the bottom right we have a vertical shoe rack and just above the vertical shoe rack we have an iron board which is integrated into the cabinet. On the bottom left, we have three internal drawers with glass profiles. The last wardrobe we have on display is the hinge wardrobe with a gloss, dark and light grey mix of polylac finishes. In this section of the wardrobe, we have a fabric finish on the inside with adjustable shelves and we also have LED strip lights on the side. In the center section of the hinge wardrobe, we have a hanger rod pull down which helps to access clothes at a height. In the center, we have an internal drawer and just below that, we have three external drawers which are divided into six compartments. The last section of the hinge wardrobe has a storage space at the top with a spotlight below. This section also features glass shelves as an option with an internal drawer at the bottom. <laughs> 